Namaskar. Welcome to Government e Marketplace. In this module, we will try to understand the bulk update feature in GEM. Let's look at the detailed overview of bulk update feature. This module covers the step by step guide for the utility which enables the buyers and PAO, DDO to update their pending payments in bulk. This would be applicable for shipments where the payments are not in initiated or closed state, services orders where invoice is already generated and bill may or may not drafted by buyer. There are primarily three cases covered, shipments where invoice is generated by the seller and CRAC is done, but bill is not in initiated state, shipments where invoice is generated by the seller, but PRC may or may not be done, shipments where no invoice is generated online by the seller on GEM. First scenario, for shipments where invoice is generated by the seller and CRAC is done. The buyer logs into GEM by clicking on login link. On clicking the login the buyer is directed to the next screen. On this page, buyer enters GEM user ID and the CAPTCHA text visible on the screen. Then buyer can click on submit to proceed further. On the screen, buyer will need to enter the password. Then click on submit to proceed. Click on dashboard to proceed further. Click on Bulk Payment Update, CRAC Issued, to fetch the payment due with CRAC Issued. User need to follow through the guidelines defined and updated details in the CSV file. User can click on the Generate File, to create the pending payment report file. Click on View Generated Reports to generate the payment due report. User can download the payment report by clicking on the Download, tab next to the file name once it is generated. User can enter the payment date and payment deductions if any for the specific shipment. User can click on Choose File to upload CSV file. Click on Verify with OTP and Process File to generate the OTP to further process the file. Enter the OTP and click on Verify OTP. Upon OTP verification, the uploaded file would be processed and its status would be displayed. If the file is not processed completely, partially complete, would appear under status and reason will be mentioned under processing errors. Second scenario, for shipments where invoice is generated, but PRC or CRAC may or may not be done. Click on bulk payment update, invoice issued, to fetch the payment due with invoice issued. Click on generate file, to generate the pending payment report. Click on View Generated Reports to download the generated report. On the CSV file, the buyer would need to update the PRC date, PRC quantity, CRAC date, CRAC quantity, freight charges, if applicable, total amount, CRAC quantity unit price, payment date, net paid amount and deductions. Click on Choose File to upload the updated CSV file. Click on Verify with OTP and Process File to generate OTP to further process the file. Upon OTP verification, the uploaded file would be processed and its status would be displayed. Third scenario, for shipments where no invoice is generated by the seller. Click on Bulk Payment Update, Invoice Not Issued to process the payment of the invoice not issued shipments. Click on Generate File to create the pending payment report. Click on View Generated Reports to view and download the generated report. On the CSV file, update the requested information for processing. Click on the Choose File to upload the updated CSV file. Click on Verify with OTP and Process File to further process the file. Once the OTP verification is done, the uploaded file would be processed and its status would be displayed. Thank you.